You have a few weeks left before dinosaurs go extinct for the winter. Thought they were already gone? Not in Jersey. At Field Station Dinosaurs, visitors can start to get a picture of the world back when dinos roamed the earth. Take a trip to Leonia, New Jersey, and you'll travel more than 65 million years back in time when the sights and sounds of dinosaurs dominated the landscape. At Field Station Dinosaurs, towering animatronic dinos let visitors imagine the prehistoric world this land used to hold. My favorite part was looking at all the dinosaurs and seeing the T-Rex. As a kid, I think at this point, just the uh, discovery process of like seeing how amazing things were. The park's creator, Guy Gazelle, shares visitors' awe. His own interest sparked as a child at the 1965 World's Fair in New York. Probably one of my earliest memories, because as you can imagine, I was pretty little in 1965. But I remember seeing those, those great um, Sinclair dinosaurs that were at that exhibit. So that has stayed with me my whole life. Decades later, he paired his prehistoric passion with years spent directing theater and large-scale exhibits. And I put it all together in one place, and it's been a blast ever since. The dinosaurs include several locals to the area, like the Hadrosaurus, a 25-foot, 17,000-pound dinosaur whose fossils were some of the first to be discovered in North America, less than 100 miles from here in Haddonfield, New Jersey. New Jersey was really dinosaur central back in the age because the we used to be right next to what is now Morocco. We were in the middle of the continent, lots of dinosaurs lived here, and as the ocean split, it filled up with water, the exact conditions you need to find dinosaur bones. With an ideal environment and a wealth of fossils, the area became a hub of paleontology, and Gazelle tapped into the resource, teaming up with experts to help design the dinos. And then we went to, believe it or not, um, roboticists and animatronic companies from California to Florida to Japan and China and shopped around and figured out who was making the best dinosaurs, but also who was willing to work with our paleontologists to make sure that the dinosaurs matched our standards. The robotic creatures move, roar, blink, and breathe. At least they sound like it. The 33 dinosaurs are all life-sized, though they did not all reach the heights Hollywood would have us believe. Here we teach kids all day long that scientists don't mind when we make mistakes because science can't move forward unless we're brave enough to make mistakes and smart enough to learn from them. And then we tell them in the movies they make mistakes on purpose all the time. The Velociraptor, for instance, is only about the size of a, a wild turkey. So in the movie Jurassic Park, this guy would have been as high as the, as the bamboo, but in real life, this is how big they were. This is a full-grown one? This is a full-grown Velociraptor. You read about this stuff, but when you come and see it, I think that's the most amazing part of this place is that, you know, you just walk in and you look behind you and around you, it's like, wow, you know, like, uh, how do these things even come about? The dinosaurs were right here. They lived in the same place. They're not from outer space. They're not magical. They lived right here. And there are places in New Jersey where even little kids can go and find dinosaur fossils. The budding paleontologists here get a hands-on, interactive experience to connect them with the ancient past. Field Station Dinosaurs is a working scientific expedition. So we ask that you guys come on in the, the park with the mind of a scientist, ready to learn new things and discover. You guys ready to be scientists today? There's some ages where it's like, every kid loves dinosaurs, like, like, like seven-year-olds. It's just like every <laughs> seven-year-old loves dinosaurs. I knew a lot about dinosaurs before I came here. We take that love and passion for, for the dinosaurs and we turn that into a love and a passion for science and learning and we turn every little kid who comes here into a scientist. Obviously anything hands-on, experiencing something is more than just reading about it or watching a video. Hands-on, doing it, seeing it, it sinks in a lot more and it keeps them more engaged for sure. Many of these young scientists are building on an already impressive expertise. One of the most, most biggest theories in the world are an asteroid that 
kill all the dinosaurs that wiped them all away. But it didn't do all the dinosaurs because only in the late Cretaceous they all died. So that was only one little piece. And you can go 90 million years back in time, but you'll have to hurry. Field Station Dinosaurs is open weekends through November 13th.